Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well, etc. and so forth on Friday, the 26th of August. I'm going to be painting on this stretch canvas. It's got a layer of gesso on. It's over an old painting. You could probably see the ghost of the painting on there. It's an old acrylic painting I did ages ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, my colours, I've got um, pretty much my usual stuff on my glass palette. I've got some Payne's Grey. I've got um, some Cadmium Green with some uh, Crimson mixed into it. And I've got um, Cobalt Blue with uh, a little bit of yellow mixed in and some Titanium White. So a very limited palette. So uh, off we go. I might put a bit of uh, sap green into my uh, cadmium green and red mixture. It's looking a bit red for my liking. I'll just mix that in. Bear with me, I should have done this beforehand. It doesn't make for great watching me stirring in some colour. And then off we go. There we are, nice sort of uh, greeny brown sort of ship colour, that's the plan anyway. Right then, let's make a start. Let's put some, uh, I'm going to start with the sky, put some of this cobalt blue and uh, a bit of yellow in top corner. A little bit of pink in the sky as well from uh, yesterday's painting. A bit of a sort of uh, pinky sunset affair with the ship, which you might be able to see just in the, the corner there. Just you might catch the edge of it. If not, failing that, see my previous video. Hopefully I have the ship quite close, big and looming. That's the plan. Anyway, it's good to get the sky on first, put a bit of Payne's Grey on as well. Working fast as usual. Touch of titanium white on there. Don't forget to subscribe, if you've subscribed already, thank you very much, it means a lot. As I often say, these aren't tutorials, it's just me talking and painting, but if it inspires you, it's all good. It's mostly me learning, you know, I'm learning every day I paint something new but if you've got any ideas for me let me know I'm always up for new ideas and uh, constructive criticism stormy sky Not bad so far. So right, I'll leave that for now. I don't want to go over the top. Yeah, have some sea and a big ship. Might the ship going that way, just leaning off following that blue. We shall see as we progress. So then, start with some uh, Payne's Grey, just up here, crest of a wave. I'll 
plonk some of this uh, green on as well, already green. It's more of a burnt umber now. It's quite a nice colour, quite interesting. Stormy, looks like a hill at the minute, but it will be sea, hopefully, by the time I've finished with it. <coughs> right then, the ship. It'll be quite a quick one, I think, today. I'm in a quick mood. Get some of this brownie green, just on my palette knife. Yeah, oh, you know, I might have it leaning that way. There's a bit more room that way. So, uh, with that in mind, yeah, there's a bit more space. If I had it leaning that way, I might run out of space. So, uh, I'll just fill in the rest of that sky just with that ready green colour which kind of works in the sky quick wipe of the old brush I have to ration my kitchen towel I keep forgetting to go and get some right then palette knife so yeah if I have the ship about there I think and some hull. Something like that. That might be a bit high up at this stage, might be too much of an angle, but uh, we'll see how we progress on. Put some masts on. going up there like that cross beam not really giving it much thought seems to be the quicker the work the quicker I work rather the stronger my paintings I think anyway yeah put that about there Go over that line with my fingers. I just created a a line with uh, my palette knife. It was accidental. A bit more hull. Right. Get my other palette knife. A nice long one, a bit more of that greeny red on. Yeah, I'm glad I went that way because it's quite uh, quite high up and it's cutting a bit fine here and got a great deal of space on the canvas. I do prefer bigger canvases. Yesterday my canvas was quite small so it got quite fiddly. There we go. It's a start. Put some little lines there. Rigging. It's quite random. No rhyme or reason. Right then. Next, I'm going to leave that for now and just uh, give it time to to think or give me time to think. I'll put a bit of uh, titanium white on the waves here. Dee, 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 dee. my camera's actually on, yes it is, which always helps.
There we go. Right, plunk some sails on. Oh, I'll use my long palette knife again. Yeah, pull that about there, I reckon. It's merging with that brown quite nicely. Do do do. Keep the edges as square as I possibly can. Yeah, it sort of helps the colour merges with the sails because I imagine they would have been quite dirty after a while at sea. Only surmising, of course, because uh, being raised in the Peak District, slap bang in the middle of England, uh, miles away from the sea. Another sail there. There we go. Not looking too bad. Right. Put some more waves on just with my palette knife. Right, that'll do that for now. Get my long handled brush, I think. Let's use the titanium white and just put some stuff here, clouds maybe. Over here as well. Again, some uh, quite useful pink has gone into the sky. Again, from yesterday on those clouds. There we go, we're getting somewhere. Doesn't take long. You know, if you're like me and you haven't got patience, it uh, definitely suits this style. Drama in the sky. Creates a bit of movement.
yeah that's that for now I'm going to leave that sky for the time being and uh, what I do need to do is get a bit more titanium white on my palette there we go Plunk one or two highlights on just there. And up here. Yeah, the light's coming from there. reasonably ship shaped I feel that might be a bit a bit square I have to do something about that Desperately low on kitchen towel, isn't looking promising. Let's have a think. I went like that. Just lift that horizon a bit. So I really need the ship in front of us to give an idea of uh, perspective. Same again over here. Get in there. Put a bit more panes great in the distance. Okay. All trial and error, learning as I go. I want to do some little thumbnails of ships and things. been meaning to right, bring these clouds up a bit Might be a bit dark there, so I'll put a bit more blue on. Just see what happens. Yeah. 
Yeah, might be a bit more like it. I don't want the sky to be too dark, if I can help it. I do like movement in the sky. I used to do a lot of landscape photography, but I got uh, quite disillusioned by it. I've had enough of uh, just boring skies. I might get out again in one day and do it. I don't like blue skies, you know, with no clouds. I find it very boring. That's just me, that's my opinion. I do like cloudy skies. Yeah, the sky's looking a bit better, actually. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Right, think about this ship. Get my little palette knife. Just put some more stuff on. With me ready green. Kind of coming on. Not perfect, but it'll do. It's a painting. Oh, the helicopter going over. I don't know if you can hear it. Don't live a million miles away from an RAF base. Oh, it's the dogs going as well. I apologise. They the tend to react if there's a helicopter going over. Little buggers. Yeah, it's coming on. Some stuff up here, I think. just there as well. A big palette knife again, give that a clean. Excuse me, lean in front of the camera as I reach down onto my mountain of uh, used kitchen roll. Oh, wrong colour. Put the white on back some, but I might as well use it. Don't want to waste it. That's how low I am of kitchen roll. Rushing it as best as I can. There's the dog again.
Right, let's have a think about this. Highlights just there. Trying to avoid the muddiness. Whoops, just dropped a pallet knife on the floor. Just take away some of that hull. Hope it's not essential that's dropped on the floor as I can't reach it. Yeah, I think we're getting there gradually. It's not perfect. And I don't think any of my paintings are perfect. Get in there slowly but surely. A bit more pain's grey on here, I feel. And there. Creates a bit more contrast, which we like. Some more of that sap green down here and all. And Payne's grey. Create some drama in those waves. as I say, but it'll do. Churn C. Yeah, I think we're just about there, you know. <laughs> Looking at it, I think I need a bit more hull down here. Let's have a play. Oh, I know what I've dropped. Oh no, I've got it. So that false alarm. I've dropped uh, an important palette knife. Look at a bit more of a looming giant. Leviathan. just following the curves of the ship 
that's a bit a bit more like it I think just gives a, an idea of size and perspective so ideally I want some stuff you know give it some distance some stuff behind it rather than it being you know on the landscape I want to be part of it <laughs> and things going on there as well that's so before no rhyme or reason to it it just I think it's instinct <laughs> little movements with the palette knife that's a little bit more like it Right, finishing touches. Oh, Norman, it's from that dog again. Put a few highlights on again. Yeah, I'm glad I decided to go big with the hull. A bit more happier now. bit of light up here as well yeah I think I could, it could have afforded to be a bit more lean on the hull or straighter sails but it'll do it's a painting doesn't matter too much it's all good practice Yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway, it'll do for now. It's all learning curve. Put a few breakers on here. Yeah, anyway, I might change it, we'll have a think, I'll just get rid of that little bit there, but anyway, I'm going to leave that as it is for now, I might just put a little smudge or something on the distance just there. Could be land, I don't know, yeah, bit of headland. There we are, that'll do for now. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and all that business. 
Um, I'm going to stop the recording and I might make some slight adjustments to that hull. But anyway, thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget I'm on Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Just put John Kidd Artist into Google. So thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye bye.